The Trailblazers play before the hometown crowd here in downtown Portland, Oregon. A quick check now the starting five for both teams. And guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Nick Batum? Yeah, he's a matchup nightmare defensively. Even the best offensive players in the league have a tough time scoring against him. And he also loves to jump into the passing lanes and pick you off. I mean, he likes to shoot the gap. It backfires on occasion, but like a great base runner, he seems to pick his spots pretty well. Looking at the last game for the Phoenix Suns, it was a loss to Utah in Salt Lake City. Yeah, they gave away a lot of points at the free throw line in that game. Maybe it was being on the road, maybe uh, they were just out of sync, but something had them rattled. Steve, I don't know if it was the biggest reason for that loss, but clearly the misses from the strike had an impact. So the Portland Trailblazers able to put the first points up on the board. Bledsoe outside. Six to shoot. Lost the bonus. And it's going to be out of bounds. Nice. The Trailblazers will take it. Williams with the ball. Right side, Aldrich. Passes it to Dimes. There's a screen by Robinson. Here's Dimes. Sinks that one from the post. Dimes got his first two points of the night. But a pick worked really well there. Nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Well, guys, the head coach for the Portland Trailblazers gave me just a couple of minutes. I asked him about the difficulty defensively against a team that's so smart nice. and controlled offensively. He said that's a great point. They really do a terrific job of executing their offense. Not a lot of miscues or missteps. We need to be just as disciplined, and we're going to get the upper hand. And down one to nothing in the season series, guys. We'll see if they can even it up. Okay, Doris, so Steve and Clark, uh, what will you guys be looking for overall, you know, defensively from this team, given they're facing such terrific shooters tonight? Well, it's going to take tremendous energy, so I would look for them to go fair. Really deep into their bench. Yeah, I like that thought, Steve. Really, it gives you a chance to hopefully keep your defenders fresh on the defensive end, so yeah, that makes sense yeah, to me. Let's yeah. see if they can pull it off. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. The shot, no good. Nice D from Blake. Looking at Portland, they want to turn it around after the loss to Oklahoma City. And Kevin, when you don't take advantage of your trips to the free throw line, which they definitely did not, it's tough to recover from. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, they left a lot of cheese and lettuce at that foul line part. <laughs> not to mention some ham and turkey, but... <laughs> nice. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Shot clock at two, and he hits the jump shot. Perfect inbounds pass and an easy two points. The Trailblazers have gone two or three here to start off the game. Williams passes to Dimes. Aldrich a sprint. Down low. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Archie Goodwin picks one up. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. Oh, free throws good for Aldrich. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Williams against Bloodsoe. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that one. Doesn't he make the basics look pretty exceptional? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because uh, we've got one here tonight. Williams, that's for two. Mm -hmm. The Trailblazers rebound. Platoon passes to Dimes. There's a screen by Robinson. Here's Dimes. Good. Mm -hmm. Dimes got his second bucket of the game to go. Suns trail by six. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Bloodsoe issues to Morris. Blake, good ball movement here by the Suns. The second chance effort. 
much. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. And taking a quick look, you guys, at the hustle spots for Portland. Boy, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Yeah, and I've noticed also that their quick hands have led to a lot of forced turnovers. They're getting some points in transition as a result. No good from Diamonds. Now, here's Goodwin. He's guarded closely. Goes back up. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And the Suns here with a different... Portland leading by five. Setting the floor for the Suns. They've got Bledsoe. Watch out there with Marcus Morris. That's a good one. And it's Blake in at the three slot. Here's Dimes. Defended by Goodwin. Four on the shot clock. Pulls it up. And he wheels that one in. Sinking right through off the back eye. Suns trail by seven. The feet to play. Back to Bledsoe. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. And now we go to our rookie leaderboard to get a check on the players at the top of the freshman class in assists over the last ten games. Portland's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. He picked up 10 points. He had a very rough time and never seemed to be going at full speed. Really struggling to leave his mark on the game. We'll see if he can respond and have an impact in this one, Kevin. You're bringing it, Doris. Thank you so much. Thanks for that report. And I know, Clark, he was pretty disappointed in that performance. And as a result, Kevin, I know we'll see him be more focused here. I mean... He does not like to lose or play for him. And sometimes in the NBA, that's what happens. You have a bad one, and it refocuses you. you know, an 82-game schedule wears you down. Sometimes you need a bad performance to kind of rekindle the fire. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. The Suns have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Well, the season numbers for this club were really low. I mean, this is something that the team has been focusing on. They've got to improve. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. Now here's Williams. Right side Robinson. The pass to Dines. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Robinson against Bledsoe. Kicks it to Morris. Three-pointer. Marcus Aldridge grabs the miss. Well contested shot, and they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. Here's Dines. Oh, yeah. Six yeah. points for him. Well, I think Aldridge is one of the most consistent, low post scorers in the NBA. An underrated star, I think, because you can throw him the ball on the block, and he'll create offense for you. But he can also step outside and knock down that jump shot. Yeah, that jump shot is silky smooth, and he typically likes to operate 17 feet and in, right in the elbow area. He can body up and be physical with anybody he plays with his back to the basket. The prototypical power forward with his skill set. Here's Blake. We saw him with 19 points his last out. Morris. Aldridge is covering. Shot clock at five. Near the three-point line, it's Bledsoe. He claims that one off the back line and down it falls. Even though it went down, I don't think that's the kind of look they should be settling for. And Phoenix making a change. Williams passes to Dimes. They set the pick. Back to Williams. They get it back. Leonard. And the layup's good off the glass. Leonard's got his second basket of the game. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in here. Morris gets to play. Feeds to Morris. No good from outside. Portland leading by 10. 52 seconds left in the first half. Good one with the steal. 
the lead pass. What so? Morris gets to play. Here's Bunso. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Bunso's got four points now in the quarter. He's making it look easy scoring out there because he's much more efficient here in the second. Williams passes to Dimes. There's 25 seconds left in the second quarter. He got the shot he wanted off that pick, just couldn't get it to fall. But Steve, they'll take that play all day long, 10 times out of 10. That was good action. Good one dishes to Blake. He kicks to Bloodsoe. He passes to Townsend. Back to Bloodsoe. Knocks down the three ball. Now just a five-point trailblazer lead. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. And a tight game. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome, I'm Damon Bird, the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. Well, you have to like what we're seeing from Beverly. And what was most impressive was that his decision-making and, and shot-taking was very disciplined and efficient. Really an excellent half. Yeah, that's exactly right. Whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, he was taking only what the defense has given him. And he's not trying to do too much. I love the flow and rhythm he's playing with here. The forwards are Batum and Thomas Robinson. Dines is out there with Darren Williams. And it's Aldridge in at the pivot spot. Manning. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Heck and still knocked it down. Nice composure. The Suns shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Trailblazers leading by four. Pass to Dimes. Aldridge is spring. Dimes, the pass to Aldridge. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. Yeah, that last matchup was really a tough yeah. game. And uh, I thought the difference was they got some scoring from their bench, and they needed it. But that depth really was the issue. Bloodsoe kicks to play. Back to Bloodsoe. Six on the shot clock. Williams with the clock. And now the two pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And that was good. Eight points for Dyne. Suns trail by six. As Steve alluded to, Clark, the previous matchup wasn't decided until the final moment. Yeah, I recall that being a fantastic game. And one of the great things about it were those unlikely heroes from off the bench. An exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it. And look to finish the play right there. Trailblazers leading by three. Williams passes to Dimes. Into the Marcus Aldridge. <laughs> well, Clark, a clear line to the basket and the And that is outstanding attacking basketball. Well, he had no choice but to take that one to the bucket. Morris dishes to watch. He feeds it to Bloodsoe. Pocket six. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Morris, no good. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start bearing some of those. Suns trail by five. Goodwin with it. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet for him. Offensive rebound. Second change shot. And Bloodso puts it in. You got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. There's a screen by Robinson. Dimes the pass to Robinson. That's collected by Blatch. Blatch has got his third rebound tonight. Now, here's Goodwin, averaging 13 points a contest. Here's Blake. That's good. 
Now just a one-point trailblazer lead. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. That's been so critical, Clark, because whenever they have gotten the ball into the paint, it's resulted in points, it seems like. And Phoenix making a change up and check in. There it is, guys, that old A defense. Just watching him go Clark right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. Here is Bayless. Portland making their last shot. Bayless off a pick from Lane. Bledsoe kicks to Blake. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Here's Len. And that one's good. Mm -hmm. Len's got his first basket of the night. Shaw's under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Williams passes to Dimes. Pulls away. And here is Blake. Right now averaging 15 points a game. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Portland trailing here. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. Here's Dimes. There's the bucket. Good. Dimes got two points. 157 left to play here in the third. Baylor's off a pitch from left. Now Bayless, averaging 14 points a game. Morris gets to play. Dishes it to Bledsoe. The baseline J. It's rebounded by Lenny. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. And it's the Suns with the ball. After the miss from Dimes. Here is Bayless. The putback and the dunk by Lynn. And the Suns lead by one. No tip required when you've got room to make the stuff. Yeah, some powerful second chance points right there. Yeah, he wasn't wasting any time. Straight back up and right into the hoop. Good. Six points for Leonard. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. That's what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. More of the same. Get it inside. Here is Bayless. Lenkin gets to play. He dishes it to Bayless. Pass to Len. The feed to Blake. Tries again. And that's off the glass and in. Blake's got eight points. Clark, third quarter here and five lead changes so far. Yeah, it's really been a bit of a tug of war. Back and forth we go. Yeah, both teams playing well. Neither club able to pull away. Here's Dimes. He's got ten. And he comes off the screen. Screams it through. That's a solidly executed pick play. I mean, it paid dividends with that nice dunk. Exactly the result they were looking for. Yeah, it worked so well. I mean, he got set. Did not shuffle his feet. Really well done there offensively. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game. Spin Turkey. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for Portland. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. You know, one other area they're doing well in is steals. I mean, they've knocked the ball loose a number of times and been able to track it down after the fact. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. Ludzo is out there with Goodwin. Then it's Blotch. Then it's Marcus Morris. And it's O'Connor in at the three. Robinson misses. They've been strong on the board. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says. Still anybody's game, though. Ludzo with it. Now defended by McCollum. Ludzo dishes to Morris. Active Ludzo. Passes to Morris. 
kicks to Bloodsoe. From deep three-point range, shot is no good. Now Portland takes it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. McCollum, a strong finish under heavy pressure all over. McCollum's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Trailblazers. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Bledsoe passes to Morris. The dish now to Goodwin. Aldridge on him. That's blocked. Mm. Here's Dimes. Robinson a screen on Bledsoe. Dimes the pass to Aldridge. With no mm. one, there is the jump lead. And the Trailblazers lead by five. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. There's the pass to Goodwin. Feeds it to Bledsoe. Bledsoe left side. That's a good note. The Suns need to get a shot off. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Dimes, the pass to Roberts. That one is good. And it's a seven-point Portland lead. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers. Ten of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. Morris kicks to Bloodsoe. Sweet little floater. Well, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, I had a chance to find out what the Trailblazers head coach was going over with his guys. His advice clear cut. I want to see you playing to win, not playing not to lose. I don't care what the lead is. We do not back off. That one misses for Robinson. Suns trail by seven. Here's Goodwin. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is up and in. And that's 13 points for Eric Wetzel. Boy, they're doing a nice job, a really good job of getting second chances here. And that's a that's a great way to cut into that lead. I mean, nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than putbacks. Now, here's Batum. Goodwin with the steal. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Morris kicks to Bledsoe. He passes it to Goodwin. Shot clock at six. No good from 18. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that back up. I mean, he is going ice cold here. Suns trail by five. He kicks it to Bloodsoe. Pass to Goodwin. Goodwin gets a screen from Morris. Goodwin dishes to Bloodsoe. 
He feeds it to Morris. Fires the three. How'd they get it there? There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Another shot. Four on the clock. Can't get it to go. Good D by Williams. What a struggle for him. A goose egg in the box no. score today. Here's Aldridge. It's hauled in by the Suns. Blake's got his third rebound on the night. Good one. Passes to Blotch. Dishes it to Bloodsoe. Back to Blotch. Just five to shoot. Fires from 14. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Whoa, that's a big shot right there. And that one really took the air out of this crowd. Kevin, the silence is deafening. Here's Dimes, defended by Goodwin. Dimes, the pass to Alder. Here's Dimes. Shot to end this cold run. Yes! Call the Suns. They trail by five. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? They need to get a quick bucket here. If there's more than 24 seconds left afterwards, they can try for a stop. If there's less, they'll have to foul. Morris, no good. This may be their most important position. Yeah, as long as they don't make a mistake here, they should be safe. And he commits the intentional foul. 26 seconds left in the fourth. And so they foul intentionally. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. So neither attempt to call that time for Phoenix has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Late for three. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. That is a clutch shot if I've ever seen one. Yeah, very gutsy there. What more can you say? He got it done at the best time. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. You know what that time means? The perfect chance. An opportunity to wrap it up, and he couldn't take advantage. We'll see if he lives to regret it. Here is Bloodson. He dishes it to Blotch. It falls! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Excellent execution of the plan there. Here's Williams. Fader underway. Oh, he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Regulation is ended, and we're heading to overtime. And what great competition we're seeing so far. After four quarters... About 90 seconds off the clock here in the extra period. We've got Marcus Morris. Jared Bayless is out there with Goodwin. Then it's Blotch, and it's Blake, and it's a small forward position. The defense keeps coming up short, just no solution for Dimes. He has 14 points and 9 assists. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreak. Mm -hmm. And he ends up making the second, and that increases their lead to six. The Sun shooting for the game at 42%. Now Bayless. The feed to play. Passes it to Bayless. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by Darren Williams. Good one with the steal. It's going to take something special, maybe a miracle for them to come back right now. How about a little luck? Here's Blake. It's good. And now they trail by just four. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Here's Robinson, and he stops it. What a pass to set him up. What a floor leader he's been in the offense today. You know, he's done a terrific job of moving the ball around, sharing it, dispersing it, and running the show. A shot by Bucks, no good. And they are in the driver's seat. Yep. Yeah, basket here and pretty much wraps it up. And now they decide to foul intentionally. 
And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. That's good. Going one and two from the line. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Now eight seconds separate the two clocks. Blake gets over the watch. Here's the dish to Blake. Expanding his range. Trains it from downtown. Nice play there on the inbounds. The defense really lost contact. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Gets the first and puts them up by five. Eric Bledsoe checked in for Phoenix. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Now Morris. Not much time to work with. They need a basket here. Yep, they've got to get a steal or foul to stop the clock. Here's Dimes. And that's a foul. Called on Archie Goodwin. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. He can't make the second free throw either. This is both. Now Blake. A three-pointer here might have us headed to another overtime period. Bledsoe for three. Misses the tray. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. Misses. And so the big one by Clifton in a tight game. No punch, they couldn't put him away in regulation. But after a superb performance, 